name is Matt. I'm a personal trainer as well as a competitive eater. Competitive eating is eating a lot of food in a short period of time. The scene is definitely growing in these two years. We all started because of a dare. Someone dare me to do this little burger challenge. Under 15, I think. The time limit is 20 minutes, so not only did I complete it, I smashed the record time by a huge margin. So that actually got me hooked. There's a lot of contests that I actually participated, but my most fulfilling one I would say is the one that I actually travelled to Philippines, Manila, in which I ate Yoshinoya beef bowl. It's a 15 minutes contest, I won with about 9 bowls eaten, that is about 3 kg of food. A day before the contest, I tend to restrict myself and I just keep to a strict routine of protein shake. Real replacement, some yogurt here and there, and drink a bunch of water to keep my stomach stretched. I do not eat a lot growing up. I fall sick very often when I was a child, but ever since I started gyming, bodybuilding, having a more responsible diet, it all improved. Ever since I joined my first eating contest and I actually met this guy who is the reigning champion in Singapore for like 10 over years. He's good, he's really really good. Usually he is my only opponent in the game and I'll only be looking at him most of the time. During my first contest, I actually beat him. Two things that I do not eat. One is spicy food and the other one is alcohol. I went to this taco eating contest which they actually spiked the tacos with habanero. We didn't even know we enjoyed the contest. This is just horrible. I wanted to give up but I managed to push through and yeah, I won it. This is not something that I would advocate and it's not something that everyone would be able to do. But I would say start off with something small and know where you are first. Strategize on how you're going to tackle that burger or that whatever challenge that you're going to do. I'm Ruben, I'm a student, and I'm also a friend of Zermatt. Uh, we actually met at the gym. I think it's pretty interesting what he's doing. It's quite nice to see someone trying all these uh, crazy challenges and proving that it can be done. At the same time, it's also a bit scary to see people eating such huge amounts of food. A little bit inspiring as well. I think he does it because he likes the attention. When he eats and people around him and goes like crazy, oh, this guy is eating so much food. I think he really likes it. He likes meeting new people. He finds this as a good way to share his personal beliefs and his hobbies with uh, people around him. There was once Zermatt uh, brought me to this uh, eating challenge and we had to eat uh, 2 kg of curry rice. So being Zermatt, he had to eat uh, 4 kg of curry rice instead of 2 kg. At first, it, it seemed quite possible but in the end, uh, he, he couldn't take it so everyone had to avoid him because uh, he was about to, the place was about to blow. Okay, initially, of course, they are quite timid about this whole idea of moving food down, ingesting a lot of food in one sitting. But after a while, they saw me taking care of myself, working out in the gym and doing well in competitive eating, they are actually quite supportive. The most common misconception people get about competitive eating is they probably think that we starve ourselves for days and then we suddenly just go at that food challenge. I mean, we won't do that. I mean, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just be eating as per a normal person. When I'm not competing, I'm taking care of my body. The question I'm asked the most is the fact that how do I maintain my physique and at the same time eat this kind of epic proportion? It all comes down to balancing your calories. If I'm going to eat a huge pizza today, three days before the thing, I'll probably go on a caloric deficit. But my typical diet is going to be like just a lot of veggie and lean meats.